Today we are talking to Emma, who is in Indianapolis in Indiana, um, yeah. outside of Chicago, and um, she has built an incredible project to bring people together and be more connected during the coronavirus while everybody is in work from home mode. Um, so I'm going to roll it over to Emma to tell us all about her project, who she is, her background, and how it all got get, got started. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me, first of all. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, so a little bit about me. I originally from Miami, so I've come from like the Cuban culture, um, and I moved to Indianapolis a few years ago, and I started working remotely. And one of the biggest problems that I faced personally was isolation. Uh, the first year, I never went out outside of my house. I stayed home. I was like, this is great. I never have to leave or talk to anybody. Um, you can really start feeling those effects of isolation after that first year of being remote. Uh, because you're no longer interacting with people. Um, the less you interact with people, the more health problems you actually face in the future. Um, so I started to kind of do some reevaluating, kind of like figuring out what I could do to meet more people, to get myself out there, um, to take breaks during the day, not just, just stay home and, and just stare at my computer all day. Um, And that's kind of like where the idea of, of cafecito came from. Um, coffee, cafecito, that's essentially what it means. Uh, co coffee brings people together. It's what's brought me together with so many people from all over the world, um, locally, but also internationally. Um, and, so, and that's kind of like why I decided to solve the problem, not only for myself, but also for other folks out there. Um, full time, I'm a product manager, so I do work full time. And I sort of do side projects um, outside of those work hours because I just really enjoy you know, solving small little problems. Um, this problem that I solved with Cafecito is actually pretty big right now. Um, so I'm really excited that it's been able to, I've been able to reach so many people and so many people have heard about Cafecito so far in the last three weeks that we've launched. Uh, and yeah, just really excited to kind of share it with more people, more remote workers, companies, co-working spaces, and just expand it as much as I can, uh, not during the pandemic only, but after afterwards as well. Break down what Cafeticito is for everybody so that we all know yeah. um, what it is, what the service is, um, and, and uh, what it's providing um, the, the members. For sure. Um, so Cafecito is a community platform that matches remote workers via their shared interests um, for a virtual coffee or a chat. Um, these chats are usually done over Zoom, um, and it's a 30-minute chat with pretty much anybody from anywhere in the world that you share a similar interest with. So if you are a maker, if you are a engineer, we'll match you with those folks um, and make sure that you get the utmost value out of that call. And it's really just a break in your day. So if you're ever feeling like, oh, this week's going to be really stressful, or I just really need to get some socialization this week, um, Cafecito is a really great solution to that. Um, we essentially email you every week, figure out your availability, and then go ahead and match you up with folks that share your interests and can help you in some way. That's fantastic. So how did you, the, what we through the, the build of the project, what did you use to build it? Yeah. What did it take? And um, all that kind of stuff. For sure. Um, so of course it was built with no code. Um, I am sort of technical. I have like a little bit of front end development um, experience, but using no code, like we were talking about before, it's just so much faster <laughs> to get something up and running. Um, so I just use the, the tools that I'm most comfortable with. For this project, I use Card, which is currently housing my, my, my landing page. And I'm also using Zapier, which I use to shoot off emails to new signups, um, weekly emails to uh, figure out people's schedules. And um, I'm hoping to kind of use it for more intense um, programs in the in the future and then I also use Airtable so Airtable um, essentially houses all of my my waitlist members as well as beta members and that's where everything lives right now so it's it's really cool um, that I'm able to kind of use everything at the moment um, with no code needed uh, it might change in the future but for now it's working so, <laughs> so, try to stick it out so you've got yeah. a Airtable database um, that is yeah. connected to a card landing page um, yeah. through yeah. Zapier integration. <laughs> I 
it's so, it's such it's crazy that such an outcome like an entire service can be created it's crazy, yeah. with three different platforms that really are individually quite easy to use and work really really well together i mean they're yeah. very open in the back end to be able to integrate those together in in a really simple and short period of time even with really very little exposure to to technical um exactly platform. yeah and I think MakerPy does a really great job of, um, you know, making sure they have updated tutorials on, on just how to do really small things like connecting, like shooting off an email when somebody signs up or baking in some math, right, to only shoot off emails this day of the week and not this day of the week um, or send follow up emails. So it's, it's so easy. Um, I only had to look at like Mailer, Light, um just like last week, for example, uh, to help me with with the auto sending and things like that. But I really could just have just stayed with those three tools and it have worked uh, perfectly fine uh, for now. So yeah, it's really great. And I think it's, it allows so many people to just like start projects and solve problems today over it being like, let's wait till next year as we like figure out the tech stack that we need, you know? Absolutely. And so tell me about the kinds of like, how, how, the, how many people are on the platform at the moment? Um, is it, has it growing? How can you get yeah. access to it? Like, is there a cost? Sure. All of these sorts of yeah, so um, we launched about three weeks ago. Um, we launched on Product Hunt. Uh, we got a huge, huge, huge uh, push uh, from Product Hunt. Tons of uh, folks signing up to create accounts. Um, at the moment, it's beta. It's free, so anybody can sign up um, and join the waitlist. And we're kind of letting folks in in batches, so 20 people per week to kind of um, not, not let ourselves get overwhelmed on our end. Uh, and you can find it uh, by going to meetcapacito.com. There is a quick sign up form. We ask you for your name, your what you do for, for a living, and how did you hear about us? And then from there, we'll kind of start emailing you to let you know where you're kind of at on the wait list, then get you on into your first Capacito. Uh, meeting new people, which is like really exciting. I think people have a lot of fun just like having a casual chat, but also networking is really huge right now. Um, and yeah, I think. So far, we have um, about 300 folks that have signed up to That's try it. Um, it's yeah, crazy. it's really crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, yeah, it's insane. Um, I did not expect that at all. Um, I do have competitors, which is exciting yet scary, but I'm making sure that I differentiate myself in every way that I can. Uh, and just really, my goal right now is really to get, get close to the customer and make sure that I'm understanding why they're using it and how I can make it better for them. So that's my main goal right now um, and what I've been focusing on the past three weeks. And it took me, I think it took me maybe a few hours to build, but of course I kept tweaking it and tweaking it before I launched it. So it could have been like a week and, and just like little tiny iterations. It's amazing. Well, congratulations. It's really, really exciting. I can't wait to share Thank this you. with the whole community. Um, and obviously, why don't we check back in, maybe in like uh, a couple of months or a month's time. Something oh, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> moving like so much is happening in each day. So maybe in a month's time um, <laughs> so that we can see how it's all going. I'd, I'd love to hear awesome. the second edition of, of where the sure. is going in another three weeks. If 300 people in three weeks is extraordinary so yeah hoping to reach more um especially folks that you know are just starting out working from home due to covid uh i definitely want to make sure that they're not feeling isolated and don't feel like remote work isn't for them so if capacity that can help them get that interaction that socialization i've done my job in some Absolutely. small way so fantastic all right all the details will be in the show notes for anybody that wants to jump on and sign up and get on the wait list it sounds like you need to get on the wait list quick smart because there's a little cute yes. <laughs> um and um we will put all the details in the in the, in the show notes so thank you so much for your time thank you